Good morning guys, it's a wake up with me and getting ready to go get my hair done. I have to be there in about an hour from now and I have to stop and do some errands beforehand. So I'm gonna do a quick, just getting some makeup on my face, nothing too crazy and trying out some new products at the same time. So priming my face with the Scandinavia makeup primer spray. Making sure that's all good. I'm gonna be grabbing the Fenty primer and putting this on my face as well. I'm pump on the back of my hand and blending it in. So this is the first time really doing this and I don't know, what do you really talk about? Is everybody excited for fall? I've already done two fall inspired tutorials. Getting excited for fall. Not so much for the snow but I like the fall because it's a little bit cooler. All right, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm gonna put this under my eyes. I'm gonna use a Morphe 334 brush to blend this out. It has been a year since I've done anything with my hair. I'm kind of just holding off, letting it grow out. And I just wanted a little bit of a change. I am going to be trying out for the first time this La Mer foundation in the shade beige and I'm going to try an Artiste brush, number the Oval 7. I'm going to put a couple pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to pick it up with the brush. All this stuff's supposed to have the Miracle broth in it. I don't know if anybody's familiar with La Mer or any of their products. Uh, I've just been starting to looking into them and hearing about all the good reviews and the interesting history of the company. I've been reading that they do a lot with cancer patients, people that get radiation burns on their bodies and on their face. All right, just put a couple pumps on the back of my hand and it looks very natural but at the same time it covers. And this brush actually works really well. All right, you can see that I have beauty marks. They're still visible. They didn't go away. They didn't disappear. I like this, it's really good. All right, I'm going to use my heart shape tape under my eyes, put a couple dabs in here. I'm just using the rest that's on my beauty blender and just kind of Tapping some in. I don't need a lot of crazy coverage. I'm going to bronze my face just a little bit. I'm going to use my MAC. I used this in my last video. I really like this stuff a lot. I used to be like hardcore as you can see. <clears throat> All right, dogs are outside, so I had to go let them in. She's barking. All right, I'm going to put some on my face. Just tapping it in. Nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna go really light on around there today. 7.55, ooh, it's early. I'm usually at work already, so I'm up. If you hear barking, that's Zoe in the background window open in the living room and she likes to work a lot. Not really. I'm using some Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Powder Foundation just to kind of like set everything down. I do have oily skin. Alright, putting this under my eyes and just using the Kat Von D Contour the Shade and Light. Just brightening up the bottom of my eyes. The two lighter shades. Just setting my eyes as well. I'm going to use Becca Damselfly. I used this in my last tutorial as well. So I really like this blush a lot. It gives a lot of good color to the skin and it's a really pretty color. It's Saturday. Not doing too much today. Brody is racing up in Eau Claire. He, he left yesterday at 3 o'clock in the morning. Really early. 
using some Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Dim Light. Just kind of putting this all over my face. Let's do some highlights. I'm going to use again my MAC Soft and Gentle. I was a straight up ride or die for this thing. As you can see, there's like nothing left. I really like this stuff a lot. I kind of like stopped using it because there was so much new stuff coming out, but I'm going to start using it again. I have two dogs for people that don't know me. It's Rev and Zoe. Zoe is a four pound chihuahua and Rev is a 70 pound black lab mix, we think with a Springer, just from how he looks and seeing other labs that have the same kind of background. He is originally from Kentucky. He was a rescue from a high kill shelter and everyone thought that he wasn't going to be a good dog I guess down there because he's got a little bit of white on him or is that something that they do down there? <laughs> But he's the best, he's an awesome dog. He sits for when kids come to do trick or treating, family, stuff like that. And he's never bit anybody, hasn't ever done anything. He's a really super, super nice dog. When we got him, we drove down to Janesville. I'm gonna set my face, get the powders down and stuff. Um, we got him in Jamesville when he was still a puppy. The lady told me that he was supposed to be an adult, over a year old. I'm gonna grab some mascara. All right, the lady that we bought or got Rev from, she was a rescue person. She was like the middle in between and she was supposed to have surgery. And I'm using my Chanel uh, mascara. Um, she was supposed to be just a middle person just to have animals temporarily and she was supposed to have surgery and the next day after we went and picked him up the house was full of dogs, a pit bull that just had puppies, just craziness and Rev was sitting there under the table just shivering with a little toy. Um, he was so cute. He was supposed to be over a year old. And that's all the paperwork said that he was over a year old. And she told me that he was supposed to be fixed already, but he wasn't. So we kept him, you know, anyway, because we drove all the way down there. I'm gonna let this, let the mascara dry. And I'm gonna put some extended play on my lower lash line. So, Rev was supposed to be an older dog, you know, like a year or so. He's supposed to be potty trained and everything. And he was potty trained for like Kentucky weather. We got him, there was snow on the ground. He did not really know what to do. So we pretty much had to start all over with him. He was fun. We love Rev a lot. He was still a puppy. He was not even like six months old when we got him, but we gave him a good home and he's awesome. All right, <clears throat> so where was I? My camera died, overheated. Um, just filling in my eyebrow, just to kind of make it a little bit darker. Not too much of a difference, just a little bit. just bought a house, Brody and I, been living here for probably a year and we decided we want a dog because we have a cat, one cat at the time, his name is Yukon. So we got Rev, kept him, got him treated, he's better and then 
I was browsing the Craigslist for a cat friend for Yukon and I found Princess. Princess is a tuxedo as well. And then Brandy and I got married. And we got another dog, which is Zoe. And that's it. Oh yeah, and a frog, but that's it. <laughs> Big house. If I ever decide to do like vlogging of everything, maybe you'll see them sometime down the road. Looks good. I'm going to set my brows with some Gimme Brow from Benefit real quick. And on my eyebrows, I need to squeeze the bottom of my hair. Clean off the mascara. I'm gonna use orange soda from Anastasia with a big Morphe 501 brush. Give it some color. Grabbing a 504 a little bit more on. Remodeling my house. Just finished doing my makeup room. That's also like my spare closet as well. So there's stuff everywhere. I'm going to pick up and use this one in on my own eyelid. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. Looks like that. self-taught, nothing, I didn't have anybody really to teach me to do makeup. Under eyes are playing me today. All right, one this out. Grab some of that first shade on another brush and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes just a little bit. Get some color down here. I'm gonna grab some Sherbert from the Soft Main palette. Down there as well. I'm going to use Kat Von D Thunderstruck Inner Eye Highlight. Put it on my eyelid a little bit. Sorry, I'm not very talkative when I'm putting some of my makeup on. Um, I was thinking about doing like a and a if anybody wants to do like a and a Pull this out. I have like a whole big tub of like Kat Von D lipsticks here. I'm like trying to say what I want to do. About some love stick. I like this formula a lot. It's not drying. Kat Von D did a really good job with her makeup line. Here's a big one. I've been contemplating doing lip injections. I know, I know. Don't do it, don't do it. But my lips are so I always have to overdraw them and it takes forever. I'm gonna set with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I'm gonna hit the road. Really pretty. Let's see, I'm going to take some pictures and see how the foundation wears. And when I get back, I will Gonna do a check-in later on, see how the foundation uh, wore all day, and I will see you guys a little bit later. See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am doing a check-in for the end of the night. It is now 9:56 p.m. and my makeup has been on since 8 a.m. So it's been on for. 
13, almost 14 hours. This is insane. Um, my eye, my eyeshadow has been on really for a long time and has not moved. The foundation is amazing. It has not moved. I am oily as you can see. I did a bunch of walking. We went after my biolage started from the from the, the whole processes from the start. I've never had one done before. All different colors, really awesome. For fall, it has caramels and some blondes and some of the darkness coming through as well. And I love it. It's awesome. I can't wait to a salon called Wild Heart. And I went and seen Cheyenne. That is the girl that did my hair. They sell Orbe, R and Co. And I have Orbe products ready. So I got some other products. Um, I am trying to try different new products and stuff. So she recommended the R and Co. Dallas thickening spray. And then the Arn Co. Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. And while I was sitting there browsing through, which I stumbled upon Kinsley Armel on my Instagram feed. This is the brand right here. And I was looking at their bracelets. They're all stacked. They're awesome bracelets. They have jewelry, they have necklaces and earrings and everything else. They're out of Texas. And I found that there was a local shop in Cedarburg um, that actually had some of it in stock. This is the place, it's called Bohemia. And I got two bracelets. I got this one, which is a just all one piece. You actually unscrew it and this blue one with diamonds on it and it has their logo on it awesome liked them not very expensive pretty cool this is the picture that inspired me to actually go and find this company so much this one right here oh i love it i'm excited i am hooked I mean, on this arm I have my Apple Watch, but this I'm gonna start stacking. I have bigger arms too, and I have room. So I'm pretty excited. And as I would have to say, the foundation looks really nice. I did not touch up at all, but you can see I have to do some control with my hair from <laughs> getting it colored. As you can see all the dark darkness below but my skin looks really nice I got a lot of compliments on my skin and how it looked happy that it was not really cold I brought a coat I'm wearing my Carly dress from Lula Row. as you can see it's just you know stripes and I wore some jeans I was just walking around I went to Cedarburg walked around for a couple hours I got a Big caramel apple. I did not eat it yet though. My face looks supple, awesome. Just great and hydrated, so I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna use this again. And I just wanted to give you guys a update, what my thoughts are on the Le Mer Foundation. I give it a thumbs up. The Artiste brush, I give it a thumbs up. I'm going to take this stuff off and get ready for bed and chill. So I will see you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, see you later.